Hi, I'm Clint, and I'm going to show you our Accounts Receivable feature in Motoshop SMS. For our Accounts Receivable update, we've added the ability to allow Bill to Accounts. On the lower left-hand side of the Customer Information screen, you will see a box that says Allow Bill to Account. By default, this box will be unchecked, and on the right-hand side of it, the Account Details box will not be available. To activate the Bill to Account feature, Check the box, enter your manager credentials, and hit Authorize. Only managers are able to activate Bill to Accounts. Once you activate the Bill to Account, the Account Details box will appear. You can select this box, and this box will show any account details that are available for this customer. You will see the account name, you will see any open balances and the total balance due, and you'll see any open balances between 0 and 30 days or any balances that are over 30 days. On the bottom of the screen you will see apply payment, you'll see a button for payment history, and you'll also be able to close this window. For this example I'm going to walk you through how to invoice a customer that is a bill to account. You must close everything out as an invoice before you can bill to an account. You can select Add Payment, and you'll receive the Tendering Invoice window. We have redesigned this window for easier access. On the left-hand side, you'll see where we have Cash and Check. In the middle, you'll see any credit cards. And on the right-hand side, you'll see other forms of payment. We've also added a Date tab to where you can change the payment date. For this example, we will adjust the payment date to the 13th of March and we are going to add a cash payment of $100. We're going to apply that $100 payment to the customer and select Add. You'll see on the right hand side that there is a balance of $232.66. In order to close this out as an invoice you must add a payment and for this example we will select Bill to Account. This $232.66 will get billed to Johann Sebastian Box account. We'll select Add, and you will see that there was a $100 cash payment provided, and the balance of $232.66 was applied to his account to be billed. To complete this transaction, select Save and Continue. If this customer comes back into the shop to make an additional payment, you can go back to the Customer button and search for his name. We'll select his name and select Cancel, and then you can go to the Account Details screen. This will show any invoice that has a balance on it, age and days, and the total amount that is due. If you want to apply a payment to this account, you can select Apply Payment, and if the customer is going to pay the balance in cash, you can select Cash. If the customer wants to do a partial payment in cash, you can select cash and again apply a $100 payment to the customer's account and select add. You can also change the payment date. So if the customer wants to make a payment on the 21st of March, you can make that payment and select add. Then what you will do, payment application of $100 and hit Auto Apply, and it'll show that the remaining balance to apply is zero. Select Save and Continue. You'll see now that there's a current balance is $132.66. You can also select Payment History to show the payments and when they were applied to the customer. You can also print a payment receipt for this customer. A payment receipt will look like this. You will have the received date, you will have the description of the payment, what invoices that the payment was applied to, who received the payment, and the total amount of the payment. To close this window, select Close. If the customer wants to make a final payment on this invoice, again you can select Account Details and apply a payment and the customer is going to pay in cash the balance due. You'll select Customer, 
select add, apply the full payment, and select save and continue. At this point in time when the balance is paid in full, it disappears from the account details screen. Select close. We've also added two new reports in Motoshop. We've added the accounts receivable report, which will show any outstanding balances and the days that they are open. If you look at this report, you would have the account name, the account number, the balance that is due, and how long the balance has been open. You'll also see the account receivables in detail underneath. What you will see is all applied payments associated with that account and how long the balances are open for. We've also added an account statement, so you can send this to your customers or your fleets. On top, you will see where you can mail this to your customers. This should fit in a number 10 in window envelope, and you can also have them tear this off and send it back to you with the appropriate payment. Underneath, you will see the statement that shows every invoice that they have open, the starting balance, and any account activity during that statement period. You can also add specific statement footers for your reference, and this is done inside of the owner setup and admin function under point of sale and accounts receivable. You can change the font size, and you can type in whatever you'd like in your statement footer. And that's how you do accounts receivable in Motoshop SMS. I'm Clint, and thanks for learning about Motoshop.